All right, my friends, so we are now on the materials page, and what we want to do is make sure we have everything we need to be successful in this course. So I have embedded a Google Sheet. This will continue to be updated as we go through the course and we add things and then realize maybe we need something else. But to get started, to get through at least lesson one, everything that we need is right here. So what you can see here is a list of materials. And this set of materials I've embedded in a sheet just so it's easier for me to update as we go through. The first thing you're going to need is a recording device for photo and video. Most likely, everyone has a phone. You're going to be good to go that way. But if you have another platform or system to record your robot doing the work that it needs to do, um, you also need something to also get screenshots as you share your code and maybe explain some of your code, whether that's sharing a solution or maybe you, you need it to help explain something for it to be troubleshooted. So just make sure you're, you're familiar with how to screen share, you're familiar with how to take pictures and how to capture video. And if you need help with any of that, just please reach out. I will gladly help you one-on-one -on -one with that. The other thing you're going to need is access to the Slack channel. And in particular, you're going to be joining my Full Stack Learner Slack channel that has lots of different uh, channels built in there. And in particular, we're going to be using for this course the channel called Hashtag Lego. And that's where we're going to be posting and promoting all our work for this course uh, for us during this time together. So you will need to join the Slack channel. And there is a hyperlink right there for you. It'll take you right to the Full Stack Learner. Then you'll see the, the, the Lego channel there already equipped for you when you go ahead and get logged in. You're going to need the LEGO EV3 Mindstorms kit. So I'm assuming you already have that because you signed up for this course, but you're going to need that in order to do the work because everything is dependent on that kit. The other thing you're going to need is the software. So I have put the link in. It'll take you to the LEGO Education website, and it will acknowledge the platform that you're on, whether you're on Windows or Chrome or Mac or Linux or a tablet, and it'll download the software for you. And you need to go ahead and download that software uh, before you move on beyond this page. It's very straightforward. It's very easy. Again, if you're running into any snags, reach out. I will gladly help you. And you'll need access to a robot trainer unit. I've put the link of the whole unit that's available on the website. For the, this course, all things that I'll be showcasing will be the robot trainer unit that is exactly what you see on the website, but it's built into the software, which you'll actually see in the next video of how to access that. But you're going to need that because that we're just going to follow that guide because our goal, remember, is for you to be able to apply what you're using, what you're learning with your students. So by using this unit, you can then go ahead and modify it, tweak it as you need to use it within your classroom. And then at the time of this recording, will be much more that follows after this. For lesson one, you're going to need a measuring tape or yardstick for that challenge. So these are the things that you're going to want to make sure you have ready before you move on to the next step. Recording device, you're in the Slack, you have a kit, you have the software downloaded, you can access the robot trainer unit, and we'll dive into that in more detail if you can't find that one right away. And before you move on, I have put the checklist here for you to access. So you need to answer yes to all five of these questions. Do you have the kit? All right, awesome. Do you have the software downloaded? Great, awesome. Have you joined Slack? Yes, awesome. Have you introduced yourself so we can learn who you are? And it also helps me see that you're in the Slack channel. And do you have a way to record video and photo of your work? And if you say yes to all that, then you can go ahead and click here. And we're going to dive into the EV3 software itself, a very, very quick overview of how it functions and works. We're not getting into all the things to program, but just how the software operates in a very general open session. So get working, say yes to all those things. I look forward to seeing you over in Slack. And then when you're ready, bounce on over to the next step of exploring the software. All right, my friends, stay awesome. Peace.